<sighs> what up y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video y'all hope y'all don't mind but i haven't eaten today and i just sent my daughter to the chinese to get me some chicken wings and french fries so i'm about to eat while i do the video got me a seven up yeah, I want to talk about this here Remy Ma and Papoose situation. I have a few things I want to say about it. Alright, so I know everybody has been <clears throat> seeing the videos of her and this other dude, whatever his name is. I don't even really care to know what his name is. But um, all I know is this. From the moment I knew who Papoose and Remy were, all I ever heard this man say is how he adores his wife. She's everything to him. That nigga kill a nigga for her. That nigga, he'll go to jail for her. I have not seen a man love a woman the way he loves his wife. Aside from my husband loving me. Let's just put that out there. But, um, it's heartwarming to see how much this man loves his wife because you don't see that, especially with people his age, you know, men his age, loving on their wife the way he do, bragging about his wife the way he do, you know, putting her above, even above himself. You know what I'm saying? That man loved him some Remy Ma. And the fact that he held her down for six years, and come on, y'all, let's all be real. How many guys you know gonna stay celibate, gonna hold her down, gonna take care of her son, all of that while she locked up for six years, never touched another woman? You know what I'm saying? Never, never, uh, uh, um, never did anything with another one. He said he didn't want nobody but Rim. And he was willing to wait for her because that's how much he loved her. He didn't care about all these skanks out here and all these girls throwing themselves at him. And he couldn't have any female he wanted out in the street. She was locked up. What could she do? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they wasn't married. They had no kids together. So, like, he didn't have to be faithful to her. He was faithful to her because of how much he loved her. You know what I'm saying? He wanted her. He didn't want any of these females out in the street. Let's be real. Most men would have took that L. Because most men ain't going too long without sex. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if he was in the shower handling in his business or, you know what I'm saying, having, you know, watching a porno and sitting in a chair and handling his business. Maybe he did that to hold him down. But the point is, he held it down. You know what I'm saying? For her to be with this man for this long, to come out here, if it's true, and cheat on this man, that's some fucked up shit. That's some real fucked up shit. That's some down, low, dirty, nasty, fucked up, betrayal type of you played me hard type shit. This man praised her name on every platform. Everywhere he went, that woman was praised. Everybody he talked to, that woman was praised. Every interview he did, that woman was praised. He praised her more than he praised himself. He talked about her more than he talked about himself. He bigged her up more than he bigged up himself. How do you go against loyalty like that? How do you go against love like that? How do you go against a real nigga like that? 
you got to have no morals, no respect. She just didn't give a fuck. If what it's saying is true. She just didn't give a fuck. And personally, what I think, what I truly think, Remy Ma got out here. I don't know if she had surgery or not. But Remy got out here, lost weight, realized what a, what a lace wig was. So we all seen her hair in jail. You know what I'm saying? She got out here and realized that lace wigs was popping. She lost weight, got her shape back. You see how she dressed now opposed to how she used to dress back then when she was still big. Now she wearing these little skimpy outfits, little skimpy skirts and high boots and stuff like that. Half dressed up most of the time. She feeling herself. She feeling herself big time. And I think in my personal opinion, I think that Pat Poose just wasn't he wasn't what she wanted anymore because now she feel like when she was down and out, Papoose was her was her lifesaver. He was her life preserver. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was it for her. He was everything to her. But when she got out and started feeling herself and realized that she can have just about almost any nigga that she want, because let's let's be real. I'm not, I don't care how good I look. I'm not about to say I can have any nigga I want. I don't care. I Listen, confidence is confidence. All right? But let's be real. Not everybody gives a fuck about a pretty face, this, that, and there's guys out here that doesn't look at just a pretty face. You got to come with a lot more than that. So I'm not about to be out here. Yes. Do I have confidence? Yes. I'm not conceited. But I have confidence. But I'm not about to sit out here and say, I know I can have any nigga I want. No. Because I don't care how much money I got. I don't give two cents on how confident I am with myself. I don't care how good I think I look. There's going to be some guys out here that I just can't have. You know what I'm saying? There's some guys out here that are loyal, very, very loyal to their women. There's guys out here that don't care all that, oh, she pretty, she light-skinned, she got long hair. There's guys out here don't give two cents about that because they know that this is all, a lot of women, this is all they have to offer. Oh, she's pretty, she's got long hair, she's got a bad shape. Yeah, but do she have a brain? Some men are more attractive to a woman with a brain than a woman with light skin, long hair, or a bad body. I've seen some females out here that could that could melt bricks with their face. I mean, boo. But they got niggas out here that look good. But that's because they their hearts are pure. They got a brain. They're, they're, they're intelligent. And most there's a lot of men out here that are more attractive to a woman with a brain than anything else. So I hate to hear a woman say, girl, I can have any nigga I want. No, you can't. Stop saying that. No, you can't. You think you can until you run up on that one dude that ain't giving you no play. Then you sitting around trying to figure out why he ain't all up in your face like the other guys because he's that one guy, that 1% out of that 100 that don't find you attractive because he's not looking at what the other guys are looking at. He's listening to your conversation. He's trying to figure out, do you have a brain on your, on your, in your head and on your shoulders? And you're thinking that he's not looking at you because something's wrong. He's gay. He must be gay because all of this, and see, that's what the problem is. You thinking that all of this is attractive to every man out here, and it's not. But honestly, I think that's what it is. I think Remy got out here and she realized that lace wigs was popping. She lost some weight, started feeling herself because 
once she started feeling herself, you could see the difference in her attire, how she dressed and all that. After a while, Papoose wasn't good enough for her no more. And that's what I think. Even though he was a good man, she wanted to upgrade because she felt like, I can have any nigga I want because I'm Remy Ma. I look good. I put my makeup on. I got my long wig all the way down my back. I'm wearing these little short shorts or these little little short skirts with the, the half uh, 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 tops on showing my breast bulging out of the tops and stuff. This is how she dresses now. You know what I'm saying? She's hardly, I hardly ever see her covered up. She comes outside with this tiny little skirts on and these little shirts with a fur on carrying her bag. And on. she wasn't on that back in the days. When she first came home, she was still on her papoose and her, you know what I'm saying? She would wear her little jumpsuits and stuff and her little bob wigs and stuff like that. And she, she was nice. She looked, she still looked good. But once she lost that weight and she realized that she can, you know, she trying to go back to being 20. And I think that's what it is. Honestly, I think she's feeling herself. Guys are coming on to her, looking at her now. And back in the days, niggas probably wasn't looking at her. Like, if you look at Remy Ma pictures of her when she was in jail, ain't nobody really. Wasn't nobody, I can't believe too many niggas was checking for Remy. You know what I'm saying? Papoose seen past her looks. I mean, I'm not saying she was ugly, but, you know, her hair was all the way back here, you know. The hair was real short. She wasn't, she wasn't, she didn't have the looks that you would normally see guys looking for in the street. Like, yo, 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 she bad, she bad. Nah, she was. she didn't have those kind of looks. She wasn't ugly, but she wasn't something that guys would just automatically jump to. At least in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So when she got out, and she fixed herself up. I think, like I said, I think Papoose was good for the Remy Ma that went to jail. He was good enough for that Remy Ma. But when she came outside, when she came back out and got herself together, lost her weight, she wasn't Remy Ma, she was Remy. There's a difference. Remy Ma was the battle rapper. The one that loved Papoose, the one that was on the corner battle rapping. Remy... Oh, Remy's sophisticated now. What? Hold on. One minute. What? For your what? She's in her room sleep. Her and the baby. Yeah. So she's she's Remy now. She's not Remy Ma. Remy Ma was the thug. Remy Ma was Papoose's wife. Remy Ma loved Papoose. Remy Ma was the battle rapper. Remy Ma wasn't the one to play with. But we got Remy now. Remy is high sedidity. Remy is that bitch. Remy is the one with the short skirts and, and half dressed with the fur on, carrying a bag with all her jewelry. That's Remy. That's what you're getting now. You're getting Remy. See, Papoose, he had Remy Ma. This next dude, if it's true, He's got Remy. Remy doesn't want Papoose. Because Remy done evolved now. Remy is out there. She's she's for the streets now. She's out there and any niggas looking at her and paying her some attention and giving her the eyes and loving her new look. That's what she's about. Uh, 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 Papoose is not the flavor anymore. Papoose is not Remy's cup of tea anymore. He's not, she's leaving him back in the days with Remy Ma. But she don't want, Remy doesn't want Papoose anymore. Remy's trying to evolve. But if my thing is, if you're going to evolve, evolve with a better nigga than Papoose. Don't go backwards. <laughs> and in this, this dude, how you messing around with the nigga that you and your husband hired? And then to do this in his face and still and still be going going out and eating. They got a picture of them hunting this dude in a restaurant sitting down eating. When have you ever seen Remy Ma 
sit down at a table and eat with anybody but Papoose over the years since she's been out. Nobody. When you seen Remy Ma, you seen Papoose. When you seen Papoose, you seen Remy Ma. But now you're seeing Remy with the dude. No Papoose in sight. I feel bad for Papoose. Because you don't hear about dudes holding down their women while the women in jail. It's usually women holding down the fort while their man is in jail. It's crazy. All this for some nigga you ain't even sure about. You know what you got in a husband with papoose. You know what you got in a man with papoose. You know what you got as a protector in papoose. You know that you got to ride or die from the beginning to the end with papoose. Papoose going to go down with you if he's not going to go down before you. He just like with, with the Titanic. Remember how dude put her up on that board to save her? And he let himself die to make sure she was straight? That's Papoose. Papoose, before he let Remy sink, he going to put her up and protect her. And he just going to stay there and he going to take that out. But he's not going to let her fail. And this is a nigga you slide off on? How many women out here can say they, they, that they have close to what she had in, in um, Papoos? Most women don't even know if their man is coming back from the store half the time. Babe, I'm going to the store. All right, babe, bring me back a soda. All right. They get on the phone with their girl. Yeah, girl, I ain't seen this nigga in three days. <laughs> This nigga said he was going to the store. I asked him to bring me back a soda. He said, I ain't, I ain't see that nigga sent. Half these women out here can't send their men to the store and expect them to come back. This nigga held her down for six years. You don't find guys doing it. You don't find guys doing it. <laughs> She should be ashamed of herself. Now, if this nigga dogs her out, and she try to go running back to Pop, Papu, excuse me, talking about she made a mistake. If I was Papu, I'd be like, hey, you should have realized that before you cheated on me. You should have realized what you had before you cheated on me. You. Not realize you should have known what you had. Everything that I've done for you, everything that I held down for you, everything that I have become for you should have been enough for you not to do me like this. And to publicly embarrass this man like that after everything he's done for her I would never, ever, I'm like, even if we didn't work out and we broke up, one thing I would have never did, I would have been like, listen, for everything that this man did for me, whatever we do, it's going to be, you know, I know we have feelings for each other, whatever, but I can't do nothing with you until I end things with him first, because I am not about to publicly embarrass this man by cheating on him after everything he's done for me. Am I in love with him anymore? No. Do I want to be in this relationship anymore? No. But what I will not do is publicly embarrass him by still being his wife and going out on him like that. I'm not going to do that. This man, regardless of what, we're not together no more, our feelings change, but I will always love him for the simple fact that he loved me as strongly as he did and everything that he's done for me while I was locked up to the point of taking care of my son that ain't even his child. So the last thing I will ever do is disrespect him. Last thing I will ever do is let somebody disrespect him in front of me. Ha. Couldn't do it.
what she did to Papoose, allegedly, is something you do to a grimy nigga. That's something you do to a nigga that's been out there running around doing him for years. While you're home loving him, fix, fixing his food, making sure he got a hot plate when he come in. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning up, washing his clothes, being faithful to him. And then he out there running around with every nasty bitch that he can find. But you holding him down. What Remy did to Papoose is what a female like that should have did to a nigga like that. Because if a nigga did me dirty like that, all bets is off. But if I got a loyal dude, which I do, if me and my husband didn't work out, I'm going to sit him down. It's going to hurt, but I'm going to sit him down and I, I would tell him, you know, I love you. I will always love you. I will always have love for you, but I'm not in love with you no more. And I know that that hurts to hear it. It hurts me to say it. Because I never thought that this would happen. But it is what it is. And I can't deny my feelings. And I do not I do not want to pursue this relationship. Because we're only going to hurt each other if I do. Because I'm not going to be happy. And as long as I'm not happy, you're not going to be happy. Because if I'm not happy, you're going to be miserable. Because I'm not happy. But I would never want him to find out the way Papoose found out about Remy and this dude. I think she, you know, if she, if this is true and she really did this, I think she's the scum of the earth. I think anything negative that happens to her in her relationships, I think she deserved it. I think it's karma. And if this nigga dog her out and she go running back to Pap, I would say to Pap, don't do it my nigga because if she could do this to you after all the years y'all been together and everything you've done for her and if she could overlook all of that and cheat on you then what makes you think she wouldn't do that shit again and if she comes back to you it's only because she's been rejected by this nigga and she feeling stupid so she gonna go back to her comfort zone until the next nigga come along and then you're gonna find out that she's fucking around on you all over again so my thing is be one and done. If this is true, Pat, be one and done. Be one and done. You know what I'm saying? Be one and done. Straight like that. Because I couldn't do it. I'm telling you right now. You fuck, fuck me over, hurt me to where the whole world is watching. How the hell can I look you in your face and love you ever again? How could I ever have the same love for you that I had for you before? That love is dead because obviously you didn't love me if you could put me out there like that, if you could embarrass me like that, if you could make me a laughing stock like that and then go on a battle rap and have Gotti or whatever his name is expose y'all and you didn't even correct. I don't care if it's because she was saying, oh, this battle rap, da, 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 da. no, you got caught. You look stupid and you had no comeback for that because you know that whatever was is being said about you is the truth. And that's why you were standing there looking stupid. You wanted to say something so bad, but you couldn't because anything you would have said, he would have ate you up. He would have ate you up because you can't, you can't even, you can't even defend yourself on, on that. Anybody in there could have, could have, could have put you in your place. Anybody in there could have put you in your place. At the end of the day, because regardless of what you was wrong, you knew you was wrong. That's why you took that L. That's why you said you 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 chalked it up to us. It's, it's battle rap. Come on, man. Come on, man. It ain't battle rap. It's truth. And you can't fight the truth. And you know it. And that's why you was standing there looking stupid, quiet. I feel sorry for Pat. I don't know him. I don't know Remy. I'm just talking about the situation and if it's true. If it is true, I feel I feel fucked up for him, really, because you don't find good men like that. I mean, there's women out here talking about ain't no good men out here, all men are dogs and all this. No, it's not all men are dogs. All men that you 
are with a dogs. All men that you entertain are dogs because you, most of these women have a type and they keep falling for the same type of bum ass nigga. But if you come out of your comfort zone, start branching out, stop fucking with the niggas in the neighborhood or around the way niggas or y'all want these thug niggas, you know what I'm saying? These street niggas. If you go out here and really take your time, you probably will find somebody worth worth keeping, worth holding on to. Every nigga out here, and I'm going to stop saying nigga, every guy out here is not out here to play women. Every guy out here is not out here to be doing him. Everybody out here, every guy out here is not out here looking for the fattest ass, the biggest titties, the prettiest face, the longest hair, the baddest uh, 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 body. You know what I'm saying? Not every guy out here is looking for that. Some guys genuinely want a woman that just won't cheat on them. There's a lot of guys out here looking for the same thing that females are looking out here. But you ain't going to find them because y'all still looking for these rappers. Y'all still looking for these niggas on the corner. Lord, I ain't said I wasn't going to say niggas no more. Now. Sorry. Y'all still looking for these dudes on the corner with their pants hanging off their ass. Y'all still looking for these thugs out here. Y'all still want these dudes out here that's calling my, my bitch. First of all. I ain't never in my years had a man call me that. Not in, not even in an argument, and that's the truth. Because that's one thing I'm not, and it will never be called by no guy that I'm with. I've been with my husband since we was teenagers. There has never been an argument where he's ever used the B word on me. I've heard him use it on females in the street. When he get into arguments with girls trying to come out their face acting like dudes. But I've never heard it directed towards me because it'd be a lot of lumps upside his head because I don't play them games. I'm not going to be with nobody. I'm not going to tolerate no man that I'm laying with to be calling me out my name. And I just don't understand how girls are okay with their boyfriends calling them my bitch. I, I have a best friend. Matter of fact, he's my daughter's godfather. And whenever he addressed his girlfriend or he talked about his girlfriend, which actually was his, his baby mama, he always addressed her as his bitch. You know, my bitch, this, and yeah, I got to go because my bitch done cooked. Um, uh, yeah, I got to go pick up my bitch. I'm like... And I asked him, yo, why do you do that? Why do you keep calling her your bitch? Nah, that's just, you know, that's a, just a term us guys use. I was like, oh, let's not do that. Don't put all men in that category because my man ain't never, ain't never. I just don't understand. I said, dude, she know you call her? He was like, yeah, she know what I'm saying. That's street talk. And she a lie that? And you ain't walking around like this? Man, listen. Uh -uh. Nope. All kinds of brain cells would have been twisted because he'd been walking around with that fucked up walking. Uh-uh. Nope. He's <laughs> not playing with me like that. Not at all. But anyway, that's all I have to say, y'all, about this Remy thing. I just feel I feel bad for Papoose that he's even going through. I don't know the man. I don't know the man. I don't know Remy. I'm just speaking on the situation because everybody else speaking on it. So I just figure I put my two cents in it. But speaking at, as a woman in a relationship, I you know, that love her man, I could never. I could never. Especially if my man loved me the way he loved this woman, seemingly held her down like he did for all them years. To do him like this, Psst. he deserved a hell of a lot better than what he got. There would be no, there would never be a comeback to this. If this is true, and this nigga do her, this dude do her dirty, 
if she was to try to get back with Pat, oh, I'm sorry, I messed up. The only reason why you're black is because this dude dissed you and played you. So now you're going back to what you know is familiar, what you know is respectful, what you know is love. But I can't love you like I used to because that Remy is gone. You're, I mean, that Remy Ma is gone. You're Remy now. And Remy is selfish. Remy's a cheater. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have love for you no more. Remy Ma is gone. I can't love Remy. Because Remy had no love for me. And that's all I have to say about it. Y'all, if you like this video, comment below. Tell me what you agree with, what you don't agree with. Hit that notification bell so you always know when I have a video coming up. Hit that like button. Share with your family and friends. You know, and, um, yo, till I see you again, till I speak to y'all again, be blessed, stay blessed, y'all. I'm out.